Hi, and welcome to Watercolor Lessons with Kathy. I'm Kathy Nichols, and I'm a lifelong artist, painter, and teacher. I help students of all ages tap their creativity with watercolor. Watercolor is a great way to express yourself, and it's easy to get started and do. I hope you join me to have fun learning how to paint with watercolor. I can't wait to see your paintings. In this first video, you'll learn which materials you'll need to get started with watercolor. To learn where you can get them, just click on the links in the description below. Please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to get notified when there's a new video. Likes and shares are appreciated too. So let's go! Watercolor paints come in tubes or pan sets. When starting out, I suggest you use pan sets. They are easier to use and cost less than tubes. And pan sets are more convenient to use when traveling. Palettes are used to mix paint and water to make different colors and shades. Most pan sets have built-in pellets. You can also buy separate pellets or even use a small plate. I use a pan set with built-in pellet. As I said before, watercolor paints can last a long time. Here's a set I've had for over 40 years. And I've had my new one for at least 10 years. When selecting watercolor brushes, there are four things to consider. Brush shapes, quality, and handle lengths. Watercolor brushes are different than brushes used for acrylic and oil paints. Watercolor brushes have softer hairs that allow you to soak up excess paint and make softer and more delicate strokes. So be sure to get watercolor brushes. Bristles can be made of synthetic or natural hair. Both work fine. Occasionally, a natural bristle will shed while you're painting but it's easy to remove from the paper and correct your work while the paint is still wet. The four basic shapes I use are flat, round with pointed tip, mop brush, and pointed tip, also called a liner. Flat brushes are used for applying water to large areas on the paper, painting large areas and creating edges. Brushes with round, pointed tips are used for making thin or thick and straight or curved lines.
With mop brushes, you can saturate large areas with water or cover them with paint. Pointed tip or liner brushes are used to paint straight, thin lines. I prefer long-handled, about 9-inch, brushes because I can get an elevated view of my work while painting. Also, I find them easier to grip to make flowing strokes. Don't use just any old paper for watercolor painting. Watercolor paper has the proper paint and water absorbency. It's available in separate sheets, blocks, or in pads. For convenience, I prefer pads that look like spiral notebooks. Each page has a perforated edge for easy removal. Be sure you don't paint on it while it's still on the pad. Watercolor paper comes in a variety of textures, hot press, cold press, and rough. I use cold press, which has a medium texture because the paint doesn't run as much as it does with hot press, which has a smoother texture. Rough texture doesn't allow the paint to spread as easily as on cold press. As Goldilocks says, it's just right. Watercolor paper comes in a variety of weights ranging from 90 to 300 pounds. The higher the weight, the more absorbent it is. I use 140 pound weight paper. Again, it's just right for me. In addition to paints, paper, and brushes, you'll want some miscellaneous items on hand. You'll attach your paper to a board so you can easily position it while painting. I use masking tape to attach it. For easier visibility, some people use blue painter's tape. The board can be a piece of craft board or cardboard. Paper towels and tissues are used for blotting your excess paint from your painting and brushes. I also use them for testing colors and brush cleanliness. A water jar is used to clean your brushes. You can use a water spray bottle to wet your paints, put water in your palette, and to wet areas of your paper. Watercolor paintings are made in layers, so you can use a hair dryer to dry the painting before adding another layer. Thanks for watching this Getting Started video. When you get your materials, watch the first lesson and start painting. Take care and see you soon.